Welcome back to Outdoor Guys. Today I got a massive unboxing. It's all BFS hard baits from Mega Bass, and I ordered from the Hookup Tackle, and I also ordered from Tackle Warehouse. So these baits are still pretty new, so they're hard to get your hands on. I think they just released the second batch, so I was able to catch that right away. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kick it off and start with the Baby Pop X. I'm just going to show you guys, this is in matte shad, and these are 50 millimeters and they weigh 3 sixteenths of an ounce. So I'm going to show you all the colors, um, I'll take one out, uh, these are all hard baits, and um, the BFS got me good, so if you like fishing tackle and you like random ordering of uh, bass fishing baits, you definitely came to the right spot. Next we got Bahama Milk Pearl. And this is like a Mega Bass Classic. It's like a pearl white with a little bit of green on top. Awesome, awesome little color. Um, this one's cool too. This is matte black bone. Never had that color before. I was happy to get my hands on that. I actually got some of the harder colors to get. This is white butterfly. Pretty dope looking one there. And then we got HT... Sarasu got the pink on the front there and then we got the classic GG Wild Gill nice bluegill pattern there um, I have that in the Pop Max as well and then we got MG Sexy Stream this is kind of a, a unique color too um, I'll roll some b-roll I'm gonna I got a Plano 3700 thin box and I'm going to make my BFS box so I'll get all the baits organized in there and then I'll roll that in this video so you guys can get a better look at the colors and stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and take out, we're going to do the white butterfly. All these have a little tiny rattle in them. Get that hook out of my hand. Um, they have a feathered treble hook. Try to show you this color a little bit better so you guys can get a good look at it. But yeah, that's just dope. That's a really sick color. I'm excited to throw it out. All right, we're going to stay on top order. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Dog X Juniors. And this is Matt Shad as well. Um, this is a really unique bait that I'm really looking forward to throwing. Um, it's 71 millimeters and it weighs one fifth of an ounce. Next, we got GG Wild Gill again. And then we got, let's see, HTITO Tennessee Shad. All right, Behind the Milk Pearl again. And then we got GLX Spawn Cherry. We're gonna go ahead, let's take this one out. This is kind of the coolest color, I feel like. This is like a walking bait, top water. Um, I'm really, haven't thrown any of these yet. I'm just getting into BFS, but I've seen a couple of videos on these and I was like, yeah, I gotta have it. I mean, what bass wouldn't eat that? It's like the perfect size too. Um, also got some rattles in there, you can see them. All right. Moving on, we got a couple of the Mega Bass Karachis. And let's see, this one is in Shiro KS, I think is how you pronounce that. And these are, let me see if, uh, 59 millimeters and they weigh 3 16 of an ounce. These are slow sinking. These are uh, pretty unique because I think they're pretty erratic and you can subsurface when you twitch them back to you or sometimes they'll come up on top too so i thought that was pretty unique um this is ht morocco ks nice mineral pattern there also we got ht ito wakasaki ks it's got some gold in there that's like golden shiner that thing is gonna kill them and then last we got Casamito KS. This is like a, <laughs> a dope minnow color. It's got some blue on it, some silver. Um, it's like a darker blue, almost purple. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and take this one out. 
There you go right there. See the top. Um, feather treble on this. Got like a deeper rattle to it. I, <laughs> these things are so tiny. I can't wait to throw these. Um, real excited about the BFS. All right, that's all the top order. I got some more hard baits. Let me go grab them. Be right back. All right, next guys, we got some BFS, uh, the X70s. This is a jerk bait and it's suspending. So it's 70 millimeters and it weighs 3 sixteenths of an ounce. And this color right here is so dope. This is Gilco. Real natural looking bluegill color. I'm gonna take that one out. But um, we got Matt Chad again. There we go. And then we got, let's see, HTITO Wagasaki. There's that one. And then we got GP Pro Green. There we go. I gotta take that Gilco color out. We gotta see this one up close. There we go right there. That thing, that thing should definitely get lit up. Awesome paint job on there. Um, two trebles. Got a rattle in it. It's kind of, I love the way these Mega Bass baits have like a humpier back on them. Um, I mean, look how natural that is. That's crazy. But yeah, there we go for them. All right, next guys, we got the X80 Juniors and this one is Shigo. And this one is a really cool jerk bait. Uh, this is 65 millimeters. It weighs a quarter of an ounce and this is also a suspending jerk bait. Next color is GP Invisible Wagasagi. Nice natural pattern for clear water. That thing should slay them. Then we got GP Pro Green again. Another awesome natural looking color. Next, we got French Pearl. Got a little orange up under the belly there. Oops. And then last, we got GG Shad. Let's take out the She Go. All right. This color, <laughs> this one's tough to get too. <laughs> this is one of my favorites, no doubt. It's got like that foil, reflective foil up top. Then it's see-through. And then the bottom's just got a little hint of orange. Um, hump back on it. Uh, let's see. Got some rattles. I can't wait to throw that and uh, see what kind of bass we can get on that. Last but not least, we got the, uh, the Mega Bass Griffin crankbaits. And then we got we got Matt Shad. Try to show you this one a little bit better so you guys can see it. All right. And then we got Matt Crawl 2, which I'm gonna take this one out. So I know you can't see it that good in the box, but it's 38 millimeters and it weighs 3 sixteenths of an ounce. Uh, let's see the depth is 1.2 meters. Yeah, this is the SRX. Um, there's also there's also an MRX which dives deeper. All right, so this is the shallower one. <laughs> this paint job on this thing is crazy. The orange there, you got some blue. Um, nice natural crawl looking color up top. Plus, I mean, you got the orange in there too, plus the blue. I mean, that could be a bluegill too, I feel like, or a crawl depending on what time of the year it is. Look at that thing now. It's actually a nice fat little profile. Got that right on it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I had orders. I kind of went on a binge and went crazy because, you know, I don't have any BFS soft baits yet. Um, looking at what rod and reel to get next. So if you're interested in these types of videos, I'll, you know, record the journey and put some videos out every step of the way. These baits cost-wise are the same as normal size baits. So yeah, from here on out, sub to the channel, um, stay tuned. I'm just hopping into this BFS game. I don't have any soft plastics yet. That's a whole nother world. So um, just, I wanted to start 
on something I knew already, and that's mega bass. And I figured I'd start with the hard baits, um, kind of the most expensive way to go. But um, I know I'm at least in the game. I got enough to go figure this stuff out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you have any of the mega bass line or the BFS stuff. Uh, drop a thumbs up on this video if you like this video. Ring that notification bell too so you get all my new content as soon as it drops. Until the next one, you have officially been out door.